guys I'm back <laughs> okay <laughs> less of the waffling this time more of the doing so as I said just before I went down I've put my set of drawers back under the table I've taken this one out I'm just gonna pop it on the edge there um, I have my brayer I have used this once before for jelly printing but not with a jelly plate so not technically jelly printing but the same same technique but I did it with my glass mat I didn't do it with the jelly plate I did it with my glass mat um, and like I said I have this little diddy one I don't know whether I'll use it or not but I have the diddy one um, and then I have these um, which are super cool um, I got these from our um, the works that's it um, yeah and they're just like rubber the different tools for using I think they're for using with clay maybe something like that they are different shapes they've got different shapes on them like chiseled bits and a pointy bit like paintbrush type bit and what have you um, but they're rubber so I figured you know obviously you've got to be careful with jelly plates so I figured they'd be really cool for like, making like paintbrushes and stuff um without having to use a well proper paintbrushes yeah but without having to use spatulas and stuff and potentially cut through the jelly plate which i probably will <laughs> um but i am just going to shuffle a few things around at the back of me here and then i've got optimal drying spots for all my pieces of paper um now like I said, we've got the jelly plate, we've got some book pages here I might use. Just to the left of me I've got some paper doilies that I might pop on and maybe hopefully get some prints from. Um, I have this here, which came from a chocolate, um, you know, like dairy milk. Uh, well, it were actually dairy box, not dairy milk. Um, the chocolate piece, the little plastic, not plastic, but the little papery thing that goes over the top of the chocolates between each tray. I just got hold of it and pulled the top layer off and I'm left with that. Figured that might make some cool marks, maybe. Um, so we will see about that. Uh, I don't need water spray, I don't think. Um, over here to the left of me I also have some scrappy pieces of papers I thought we could maybe get some prints off those a piece of scrapbook card this is an envelope I figured I might get some prints on either side of those well it was an envelope until I cut it apart I figured I could get some prints on them some packaging paper um, yeah basically all sorts and then I have a vast array of paper here. I have the standard A3 80GSM print paper. I have the 60GSM kids paper I showed you previously. Then I have some 130GSM um, printer paper so it's a bit thicker. And then I have what did I do with it? Let's see. I have some uh, tracing paper. I always say I always want to call it vellum, and it's not. It's actually tracing paper. Um, A3 again. They're all A3. Um, yep. Some A3 tracing papers. We'll pull some of those out. Actually, I think I've already done that. No, I haven't. Okay, so we'll pull some of those out and we shall see. I'm going to start with the kids' paper because it's thin. Apparently, thin papers pull better. I don't know. I've never tried. Um, when I did it before, I just did it with normal A4 paper. A4 printer paper. But obviously, because of the size of the jelly plate, I'm going to upsize my papers. Um, but yeah, apparently, um, thin papers pull better. So... We'll see about that. Um, I'm not sure why, but the plate's lifting here in this corner, but never mind. Um, and then 
I don't know if I'll use it or not, but I've got the A4 glossy photo paper. We'll see about that. Though. I might use that. I might not. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to do... I'm not going to do a whole heap because I don't have a whole heap of space in here to do it. Um, but I'm going to do as much as I can. Oh, like I said, I'll just shovel a few things around to create more space on the floor and on the desk. Um, oh yeah, and then I have my box here. My like file folder box here that has old coffee dyed papers in from ages ago when I was coffee dyeing. Like when I first started, I did a lot of coffee dyeing. I don't like the smell of it. Um, it still smells quite strong, even being stored in here. And um, pre prior to it being stored in here, it was stored, you know, just out in the open for a while. Um, yeah, no, I had it kind of piled up on shelves as well, open wire rack shelving and it still maintained the smell and it's quite strong and I don't like it so um, yeah we'll pull some of those out um, that was done with um, blueberries actually um, but yeah so I'll keep that to one side because I might pull some more from there as well I figured even you know it's a big big area so I can get some small ones as well as some large prints we'll see and let's get going like I said I kind of have no idea what I'm doing I don't know colour um what do they call it I'm gonna say colour logic it's not colour logic um, yeah I don't know a lot about colour mixology, that sort of thing, apart from your basic primary colours, red and yellow make orange, red and green make blue, green and yellow make purple, no, wrong way round, <laughs> green, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh dear me, see, I told you I'm no good with colours and if you mix them all together they make mud. Um, but, now instinct's calling me to pink and blue, because I want to do a shabby cheeky theme, but... Oops, stop putting that on the gel plate. But also kind of want to get a bit grungy. But we will start with a bit of pink and blue. Um, as I said, these are just cheap paints from B&M Bargains. They are acrylic. And we have, well, I am using um, Cerulean and Rose. Now I know that with jelly plates, less is more. Always build up, so... I don't know how well they're going to come out. Oh, she says less is more and then just blobs it on. Um, mind you, we've got a fairly decent surface to cover really, haven't we? So, let's see. Um, yeah, but as I said, I've no idea what this is going to turn out like because I don't know the like, rules or no rules or whatever of mixing colours together. So, we'll see. Basically, I just go make a mess, guys. Okay, so I'm going to use my... It's a speedball roller. Um, I'm just going to use this. And we're just going to rollerball it. Oh, actually, yes, I know these two colours make a nice colour because I used them before. As you could tell with the colouring already on the brayer. Now, I do know that after... You have spent nearly three years watching videos on jelly printing. Um, I do know that after applying the paint, it's best to leave it to dry a little first before you pull a print, or pull a print first and then leave it. Um, oh, look at that. Not quite the shabby chic I was after, but that looks gorgeous. Oh, 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 that's just reminded me I need the packaging paper that I have. Let's um, use another one of these that I had here, and I'm just going to put it over here on the other desk, and this is going to be my roll off sheet. I will show you this at the end. Just makes it easier for me, and there's not enough room on this side to do that either. So. But yet yeah, we will have a nice big roll off sheet over here. Awesome. Oh, and here comes the thunder. Shouldn't really be filming, but 
Right, I'm going to take one of these thin pieces. take one of these thin pieces of paper and lay it on and just see oh that's what I was going to use the small one for I'm just gonna get the edges oh. let's see oh my word <gasps> Oh, I love that. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, eek. Okay, so that's going to go down there on the floor. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Bad timing. I just turned around then and a bird flew past the window. It frightened me to death. I thought it was lightning. Um, and I am just going to use these bits of papers here to get some of the edges. Yummy, yummy. Um, okay, so let's try some green and again with the pink. I like that pink. Oh, the um, the green that I used was Viridian. Again, back in with the rose. I'm going to have to get some more paint. There's not a lot in these. They're emptier than they look. And I'm going to add just a little bit of white to it to hopefully tone it down a little bit because that print is amazing. But, yeah, there's not a lot of paint in these. That print that we just did is amazing, but I could have done with it being a bit lighter. Okay, so... Oh, this is kind of reminding me of when I did it the first time on my glass mat. Getting some similar colour tones. Awesome. And I think this time, oops, we will add some bubble wrap. Gonna add a, add, add a bit more white. A bit, she says. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter actually because the lighter the better for me. I'm I love pastel tones, you all know that, so. And none of it will ever go to waste because we'll just use it for collage and stuff. Let's get some of this excess off. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking the look of this. Actually, I like that pattern. Yeah, okay, let's get rid of some. Oh, that's the board. Let's get rid of this. On the print off. Print off. Roll off page. Some bubble wrap. Where did I put it? No, I'm torn actually because I have some with big bubbles on and I have some with small bubbles on. Let's do the big one. Oh, I'm loving the colour of that through there. 
this is gonna be awesome oh look at that oh my gosh that's awesome i'm gonna lay that over there and i'm gonna get another piece of the thin paper and put it on this one over here i know you can't see that guys but i'm sure you in a second i'm gonna pull off the bubble wrap We'll just leave that one to dry. Oh my god, look at that. I love that. Leave that one to dry a bit out. Dry out a bit and then we'll get a pull from that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is amazing. Oh, look at that. That is just awesome. Why did I wait so long to do this? Why did I put it up for so long? Oh wow, that is just epic. Oh, here comes the thunder. Oh my word, look at that. I just used the edge as well. That is awesome, I love that. And the first print that we did is practically dry. That's the good thing about jelly printing, you know, pretty much. The prints are pretty much dry immediately, so get a lot on that. Let's get some off there now. I kind of keep wanting to use in this thin paper, but let's use um, a normal print paper thickness. Oh, no. well, actually, I think I've been using print paper. I think I've been taking from the wrong pile. I have. <laughs> I have. Okay, let's get the kids' paper then. Oh, wow. That's not straight, but I don't care. Oh, yeah. I feel the texture of the bubble wrap through that. That's awful. And I'm just going to actually open this bigger brayer and use it. just to get as much as we can because I love this one. Ooh, okay, I'm getting some on the back. I don't mind that at all. Cool. Let's see guys, let's see. Oh I love 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 that. Look at that. <gasps> that is just awesome. Oh wow, and then we've got some more, so let's see, can we, yep, get some on there, um, oh, so cool. Sorry, <laughs> you did near that. I think it's lightning. This video might get cut short because I think it's lightning and I am in a room with metal. Using metal. Not good. Oh, that's awesome. I haven't been this excited for, about art for ages. <laughs> well, art, just, you know, art, play, paint, whatever. So, let's put... I would say white, but... Let's be daring and put a bit of yellow on there. Let's do mild... No, mid-yellow, sorry, not mild yellow. Mid-yellow. No idea if this is going to work. Or if it's just going to completely trash it. But we'll see. And I'm just going to use this to cover the whole thing. Oh, 
again if we end up making mud I don't mind that because we'll just use it for grungy stuff sheets looking like okay so let that dry a little bit which shouldn't be too bad with the window open I'll just open it a bit more cool. oh, love it. oh I really really love these oh that's just awesome I love that screaming mermaid. I don't know why, but it was just screaming mermaids at me, but I love that. There's the original one that we did. The dry completely dry now. Oh that one is anyway. Where's the other? Seeing as though there's yellow in this, let's have a play with the one that has the um antique linen distress spray on it because these colours coming through here now it's drying okay oh cool I'm tempted to put another colour on but I don't think I will so let's just pop this one over the top and see what we get sorry about the noise guys doing much when it comes to picking up it's just creasing the paper <gasps> wow that's nice and bright I love that um yeah I love that one so let's see what next let's go for burnt sienna Burnt sienna and ochre yellow. I don't know now, I'm just playing now. Which I were doing anyway, really, but. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. That just screams autumn. A fall for you guys. Wow. one. Let's add some doilies to it.
Oh, that breeze is really nice. Very cool. Okay, so... Let's get the kids... Not the kids' paper, the printer paper. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, I'm definitely doing a better job with my hands than the brain. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Love that. Okay, so let's take these off. I'm going to use one of these, the that one, like chisel end, just to pick these up and then I'm not digging my fingers in there, my nails in there. And I'm just laying these over on the um, rub off sheet. Let's see what we get out of them. I'm just going to roll it over the top, bring it over the top of these on the roll off sheet. Let's see if we can get that paint to transfer. Because again, this roll off sheet can be used for collage as well or other things, tags and stuff. that on a bit too well. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That drain is ripping. So, okay. so is that one. Okay, leave them alone. <laughs> Well, yeah, I prayed and well and truly on there, so. And <laughs> they're ripping at this side. So I'm going to cut this sheet. Okay. So I've just cut it in half, so that's like the good bit. They are well and truly stuck on there now, I prayed them on. So they'll stay there and then this will kind of use for something else um i think that might be dry enough maybe yeah it feels it a bit tacky in places but let's get that off piece of doily on there these are great another piece of doily on there Ooh. Pull it out, that's not a good idea. Well, what were I saying about it being great? I've just pulled it out the end and now can't get it back in. Granted, that's probably not something advisable, but well, it's gone in now. Okay, it's gone back in, only just. It's a bit wonky, but it's back in, so okay. Um, right, let's use the thin, thin kids paper and get some of this off. It's going to be a long video, guys. It's going to be like an hour, definitely. 
we're in 30 minutes now and I'm waffled to you for about 20 minutes before starting this so oh it's dry a bit too dry maybe so that's not a good not, well, not a good thing not a bad thing um what we will do now is pop some more white over the top I need to go and get some more paints. These, like I said, these are emptier than they look. So, I don't know about you guys, but for a first attempt, I don't think I'm doing too bad. Not to blow my own trumpet back, but maybe sitting watching videos for three years has really helped i'm loving this color if it comes through like that on the print i am loving that oh i'm excited about pulling this oh, wow that's a gorgeous color print right let's see let me just roll off over the top of the doilies, which is fine by me. And I'm going to just, instead of going back in with that, I will print on the reverse side. In fact, no, we won't because I'm liking that. So let's go in with a new sheet on that because I don't want the reverse side of it to taint it in any way. Um, this is the normal printer paper, so it's 80 GSM A3 printer paper, bog standard printer copier paper, just A3 size. What am I worrying about white paint for when I've got a huge tub of blooming gesso sat right next to me? I pulled that out because I thought that white was nearly empty. Duh. Anyway, okay, moment of truth, guys. <gasps> wow, I'm just gonna leave it on a little bit longer because that is just freaking awesome. Wow. And I really hope it pulls. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, look at that. Oh wow. Do you know what? If I were ever going to end on anything, it's got to be this. That is just awesome. You've got the bubble wrap in there, the doilies in there. Oh my gosh, all the colours. That, oh, just wow. Wow! Oh my goodness, that is epic. Oh, I love it. Well, let's do one more and then I'm going to, well, I'll do one more and then I'll show you how far we've got, what we've done. And then I will go. What did I do with those small pieces? In fact, before I go, I'm actually just going to grab these and we'll just do some quick pull paint pulls. Yes, I won't do another actual like decorative print. We'll just pull some paint with this stuff. So, right, let's go for good old green and blue. Yeah, so we've got sap green and phthalo blue. Bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there. I like these ones, these are juicy ones. I know these are full. So sap green, whoops. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I know they're full. This one hasn't even been opened. Awesome. Right. Stick 
there, hit there, hit there, hit there. What a green and blue met, guys. <laughs> okay. A big mess. <laughs> they do when you put that much on, anyway. Oh my gosh, look at that amazing teal colour coming through. Let's just roll off because that's a lot of paint. That's nice and juicy, is that? Oh. <laughs> You're not supposed to miss the paper and get your desk. Well, a bit of a desk thing, um, thing, thing, the um, plastic mat on the desk. But we'll salvage that. And we will do a paint pull from that. <laughs> And it's acrylic it'll wash off. Okay, so I've moved over to using the um, that one. Now was my wipe off print because I didn't think when I did that I should have known better, but didn't think when I did that and it's now just gone really dark, but I like it all the same. Um, oh the small ones that I was looking for are here. I love those. So cool. Let's get just going to pull a bit more paint off here and I'm going to pop that down on not that side I'm going to pop it on that side on the roll off sheet and get a bit on here So I've got that now and a bit on there as well anyway, but yeah, awesome. Put them down there to dry with the rest. Okay, so now we're just going to, this Amazon packaging is a bit thin actually. Let's do the envelope. Lay the envelope on. Ooh, that's nice and grungy. Let's do it on that side. Yes. Awesome. On the floor and try not to stand on it. <laughs> um, try and get that envelope pattern out of this now. Add a bit of white, we'll add gesso to it. Okay, let's Because I don't need a lot, I just want to tone it down a little bit. Oh, great, I've just stood on that print. That's not good. That's better. better. I like that nice turquoisey colour. Beautiful. 
think I'm going to stick some more bubble wrap on this one. Pull print a bubble wrap from this because I like that. Which reminded me of the sea. A nice aqua colour. going to do the big bubble wrap I'm going to do some small bubble wrap on this one and by small I mean I have some really teeny tiny ones so let's go in with that this is actually a double layer I forgot to cut it do is when I take this off I'm going to lay this down on top of it this side so let's take this off now oh wow wow there you go put that on there and then lay that down on top of it the other side Basically then when I fold the page in half on there, we'll have an awesome print on both sides. That is cool. Um, just going to pop a bit more white on. And just... <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say blend it all out, but it is still showing under there. That's cool, but a bit more random now. wicked look at that print so on that side we have that and on that side we have that I think it just lightened lightened I think yes yeah, so if we fold it in half it would be a big page but we'd have that on there and that on there okay. Sheet. Now I'm going to pop it under there and give this to try. This is super cool. Let's see if we can get a pull from this now. And I'm actually going to use cardstock for this one. So I'm going to use the 130 GSM cardstock and see. Well, cardstock printer paper. I think at that weight it constitutes cardstock. I think. I'm not sure. At what weight does it stop being paper and becomes cardstock? <laughs> Um, yeah, I really don't know. This is a bit thicker, so I'll just ray her over the top of it. Ready. And yeah, this this video is definitely an hour. But this is, I'm going to make this last for now. So, where are we at? Oh, wow, that's pretty. So we've got some of that bubble wrap coming through as well. Okay, so pop that to one side. And what I'm going to do now is just this. Stick some white on. Just so. Okay, so it stopped filming, but... Luckily, I don't think you miss much. I was just talking to myself actually. Um, 
yeah, I've just finished getting the excess off there and what I did were reach for some of the kids, the thin kids paper and then over here um, I've got the bubble wrap with the tiny bubbles on that we used to do so I'm just going to use this to roll her off on top of those bubbles and then I'm going to put the kids paper over the top to get a print off that and just pinching a little bit off here to pop onto this bubble wrap. There we go, and then I said pop the kids paper on top and get a print off that. Just braying off the top of that now to get a print off that. Whilst that's drying nicely. Okay, and then let's take some of these book pages and stuff and let's lay those on. Let's get some prints from them on them I mean although you probably will get prints from them because they've got text on them oh yes the rain is coming so okay this is definitely going to be the last now guys and then I'm going to cut off and love you and leave you <gasps> yay beautiful awesome that's all I need I just wanted some colour on them Fabulous. There we go. And then we've got that. And then I'm going to tip that over, lay it over the top, and pick that up. Oh, my eyes are hurting now. My head is booming. Thunder and lightning's on its way. Oh my gosh, look at that. Super duper cool. Okay guys, so I am going to love you and leave you right here now. I will finish off with this and then in my next video I will come and do a show and tell of what we did. But there's an epic stash down there on the floor drying on top of itself. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for hanging with me guys and putting up with my little bumbling. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. I've loved it. But as I said the thunder and lightning is on its way it's, oh, it's not even wet enough now to pick pull up um yeah the storm is on its way and my head is booming so i'm gonna clear up and i'm gonna love you and leave you okay thanks for watching guys take care and i will see you soon bye look at that look at that perfect bye